map I thought two You can actually finish this map without using cheat This map is the in this map um it's like a badly made pop up photo map. I played this through once and it's a little scary. There there are some jump scares but it's it's not kind of jump scare that fills your entire screen with the JPEG. Should I, should I specify how exactly? Should I specify you guys? Oh yeah, here. So, so it starts like that. Um, for visibility, I'm just going to do this. Okay, so there are two paths. That's locked, and you can go here. But you will teleport to somewhere else, just like so, and. There's about to be a jump scare here in this room. A skeleton will appear with explosive sound. Yeah, like that. And you can, and now you cannot get out. However, this map will let you out after a while. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna get a super grip gun Because there, there is going to be a fight later Oh yeah, here This door is locked SV Infinite Dark Tower 1 This is deliberately made to resemble the first, first one You know, when we first walked out to this corridor There was a door on right and an uh, empty path on the left this is locked again. I show you. This will teleport you to somewhere else again. And when we go through the same path, there is the same white room with no skeleton. Because there is going to be multiple skeleton this time. I hope you guys were prepared for it. And these two are the only jump scares in this map. Actually, I think there's one more, but I'm not sure if it counts as one. This time, the corridor is not blocked and you can actually work out. And when we go here... Oh, wait, no. Um, We should be teleported to, to the dumpster area soon. Okay, let me let me try different things. I think do I have do I have to trigger that or it's just time thing? Oh yeah, here. This is the dumpster dumpster area. Now you can't actually get out. That's how scary this area looks. Okay, this is what it usually looks like. The shadows are uh, weird. Now, what do I do here? Again, wait. When you wait a while, the floor will open up from here. If I weapon crowbar. Yeah, like that. That is not actually true. We can't stop our this trap. There's no way out. There's nothing for us to do. And you can actually just stop, jump down really. And you land to this 
pair with water in it. And about this, about this pair, I think this was shown before in the demo void. You know, when when we are falling through the demo void and we landed on the on some sort of map with flat floor and and a square and a square. Now, so what do we do here? When we wait a while, this wall opens. And when we go to here, we are teleported to here. And this, gentlemen, looks like an inter menu. I should try I try the command here interloop get as the interloop the pull the port number but it, but it does not work when we save this NPC uh yeah the web says that we will regret this decision but not really because we have this one now, wave of zombies will spawn here. Yeah, like that. But we can't get out. There's an invisible, in, in, invisible circular wall around this area. She can though. Just we can't. And we are teleported to here. And this NPC is the different one. It just looks the same. Now, what do we do here? Same as always, we wait. When you wait a little, the door will open. Yeah, this is badly put together half lap horror map. Let me show how let me show how this area looks without force brightness. Also there there's lazily made corridor with with the window and this weird church like area. And she will point out that this specific wall is weird. Something seems up this pencil. I presume that these textures are paintings of various animals and this specific one has pencil in it. You can break this wall open. And when you go go in here, another jump scare will come up. Immediate amputation. Yeah. And the game crashes. Soon. And that's about it. I don't know what's up with immediate amputation, but yeah, there's that. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.